Okay, so it just says not in food. And I'm guessing it's not like... It's not something that can be brewed. That's good. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So what is this? This is... This? No? This tab. Okay, so labor menu, kitchen, vegetables, fruit, seeds, drinks. Okay, so alright. Wow, this is a different kind of wine you can make. So I was wondering whether or not any of the dwarfs actually have like specific allergies to anything. And for how complex this game is, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a thing. Because like, for instance, playing Oxygen not included, uh, some people have, was it, the Blossom Bloom allergy. So when you have a specific flower in your base, they can get sick from that. And it just made me wonder whether or not this game being so complex might have like small nuances like that. Cave lobster. That looks awesome. Prepared pig swing. Is it wrong that I first saw that as sushi and then second saw that as a steak? Okay, so they can definitely make that into stuff. I'm guessing a lot of this is like, they have the option for so much of this being other stuff. So I'm just going to make it that they honestly can't use that. So if we have that for selling, maybe that's good. Because, well, look, at we have a lot of other stuff. And people have been telling me just don't use the seeds. Okay, so we're going to make it that nobody can cook with the seeds. So we always have a seed supply wines and I just won't let them use the pump helmets at all okay the stone use wow okay I hadn't even considered magma but okay all right I am somebody that drinks coca-cola a fair bit right so when I read that bitumous coal makes coke and I'm like I'm sitting here for like a good second there my brain's ticking over is this is this coke beverage or is this coke powder I'm like because I'm like depending on which way that goes I'm pretty sure I'm wrong in both regards it obviously probably is something else and I don't know what that stands for and my brain only knows these two options but yeah I just saw that and I'm like oh it's face palm rubbing my face that kind of thing it's just like yeah right okay and and that again from Lagonite okay so I I don't know what that is in here in this game it's obviously something that you can make cut blades oh somebody did reference obsidian as being like spikes uh the learning curve for this game was like uh something with like overhanging obsidian spikes and stuff like that and i was like that sounds really pretty but now that i'm seeing this i'm guessing it's supposed to be that it's like extremely sharp uh learning curve it now makes sense. Um, I don't have my thing open, but thank you to whoever made that reference. I now understand what you're on about. And yeah. Honestly though, I'm actually kind of like having a bit of fun because even though to you guys I'm probably just wasting time in menus that you guys all roughly know of or don't even go into and stuff perhaps. Like for me, this is the very, very first time I'm seeing these menus and it's very interesting and enlightening to me of what kind of stuff might be happening like for instance plaster powder so for me the term plaster powder would be for making drywall right and so that makes me think through like well if I can make plaster powder by mining this particular rock or, or whatever does that mean that I can eventually make like nice closed in rooms and spaces and stuff like that if that's my thought process as I'm like looking through here and it's very cool to kind of like read some of this stuff and be like okay 
like for instance make a clay hive or craft pots that choose like yeah it makes sense like yeah you might need like clay pots clayware uh what is it earthenware i believe what it's called where you have like you know clay stuff that you make food in or uh you make other stuff inside of and you just repurpose the clay and stuff like that's really cool make pig iron bars I can't process that sentence. It doesn't make any. I I have no reference for how that works. But okay, let's keep going. Economic stone. This is other stone. By the way, I don't think they've come across anything fancy yet. Hmm. Okay. So that was stone uses, labors, work orders. Work orders are going nobles and yeah i don't know as far as i can tell i've appointed somebody and i know that you can train like you can choose to train them and stuff like that and i did briefly figure that out last time i just cannot remember or am i supposed to have like multiple new squads Create which squad? I don't want to specifically create them, but if I was to click on that, choose uniforms for the military captains. So I've been hitting this X, but is it? I'm actually supposed to hit that. Hmm. What's this? Okay. So equipped. Oh, you can make him kill. Stand near a point. Patrol. Burrow defense. Sure. Can I click that? Uh, sign training order. Okay, he's off duty. I saw something up here changed. That's cancel an order. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, train. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can I schedule that? Ooh. Stagger training. I don't want them to be doing constant training. Ah. Wait, does this mean I can take other people? Okay, let, oh, I can train at least 10. So let's grab however many that is. Oh, shit, what did I click on? Let's see, off duty, the silver charcoal. Oh, wow, okay. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, so the current month is Timber? Wait, so is this like the name of their actual months? Two sec. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve. Might be. That's, that'd be twelve months. Huh. How do I unselect months? Maybe you just go back. There you go. I want to see the monthly schedule. So off duty. Whoa, shit. I went somewhere. Hmm. No. They've got monthly orders, and I'm gonna leave it as it is. That's the schedule equipped. Oh, so you can equip shit. Uh, sign a uniform. They have. Apparently I said metal armor because apparently I was clicking off the other ones this whole time. So that's kind of a shame because I think I got rid of the option of like archery and stuff like that. I do not know how to add it back. Or oh, maybe add? Oh. Huh, I 
Okay. Alright, I don't need to worry about that. We don't have any weapons. So, I'm gonna guess I need something to be able to make this with. Somebody has a shield. I do not know where they found that. Okay, so I'm thinking I've made a thing. Position in squad. Change squad symbol. Wow, okay. Um, I'm not thinking about this too much. That and a star. Star? Well, I thought it was a different color, but that's fine. We have, where's a fucking minty color? Eh. Hey, Grim. Good morning. You go get your coffee. I don't blame you. It's that kind of morning you need coffee. Um. That's kind of an acceptable color. And uh, maybe, maybe a blue? Yeah, they'll do it. They'll do it. It's fucking awful. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what this is. I'm not going to click it because I think I did these last time and I fucked up. So, the next squad was, if I click off this and I click new, no uniform, can I actually choose to get that back? How the hell do I get uniforms back? Because I wanted... Why does that look like a butt pooping? <laughs> I wanted to have an archery squad. How do I make them archery? Ah, oh, you people. This, we're not having a fucking shitting butt. It's just not happening. You can have a fucking diamond. And I, I don't hate this, like, yellowy-ish colour. Uh, symbol colour. Maybe not so much green, but maybe make you like a goldishy color. Maybe like a red. Orange. Yeah, that background, that's maybe more of a yellow tone. Like a yellow tone and maybe... I don't hate that. That's acceptable. That's just as awful as the last one. So, you... Oh my god, I can assign people. Oh my god, oh my god. So, I don't want people that are, like, doing stuff. A weaver. You can be it. And we have a gem cutter, but they're not currently doing anything. Carpenter, manager, miner. Take the herbalist and one of the fisher people's. Give me back to squads, and then in this squad, and no, 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 no. in this squad, I don't even know how many it's gonna work like this. Let's have a look at the bottom. Okay, so this is what it says its position is. So these people are already taken. So you can take that. I think he's already the leader, right? Yeah. Yeah, the bear-looking bear dude, I'm pretty sure, is the leader. You can take that one and... Uh, maybe the broker. Nah, take the carpenter. That'd be fine. Alright. Back to squads. So now I have a few people in there. Do that. And you... I don't want to click on that. I want something to do with what you do. Schedule. Schedules. Okay, so monthly orders. They both have monthly orders. I don't want to look at them. I do not want to look at the individual things. Uh, let's see. I do want them to have like stagger training. Can I Hmm. Alright, I'm guessing there must be like a set thing to it. Again there. Monthly orders, train them. Can they be trained? I'll just set you all to be trained. And if that's the case, then you guys group. Scheduled. Train. Yeah. Alright, again somewhere. I have 
no idea how to make them arches, but we are getting somewhere. These guys are metal armor and these are custom uniforms, which basically means no uniform. And I really wish that I could just have, bring back the arches. But look, anyway, I think that's okay for now. I think I'll, I'll leave them with that. Get, get up there. Get done. Get out of there. Alright, so I think I was digging or building. Okay, either way, I have potentially a military presence going to be happening. They'll be training. I don't think I have an area for them to train. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got these staircases and stuff here, but I did end up cutting off this area and I kind of wish that I haven't yet seen the part that says like remove an area I'll get there eventually I'll probably find it if it exists but I just don't know where it is so designate things like walls floors and other constructed tiles well, that only works if I've made a wall and this is just a tunnel so they're making stuff. Okay, sorry. What's going on here? We made barrels. Good. Always good. Winter has started. Okay. So we actually made a lot of stuff before winter. I'm super impressed. And barrels and unrotten plants. We still don't have plants for it, apparently. This guy looks like Dwarf Santa, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, dwarfs, James Games. Dwarfs. Um, dwarfs are back. It's my third attempt at dwarfs. The first lot, they, what happened to them? They starved to death. And I was left with like two kid toddler looking things that did not carry the, the base. And then my second map, they wouldn't dig at all. We, we couldn't get off the, the starting bed because they just wouldn't dig. And now... This map has been weird. So this map, well, fuck, we're going too far. There we are, surface. Because of all this, I keep thinking it's a lot higher up than it is. So on this map, I wanted over here to be the little diggy thingy. And they'd dig down and they'd have a thing underneath it. And so we dug down initially. And we dug down again. And it turned out a lot of this area and beneath it is damp stone, which I could not dig. So I tried again, I tried over here, and I dug down, and it was going to be like, all damp stone ag again, so I'm like, oh my god, is this map mostly damp stone on this level? So I sent out feelers to try to find some areas that actually have some areas I can build, which turns out is all the way over here, so I'm working on that at the moment. And I'm not surprised if I get invaded by, like, a fuck ton of enemies at some point. Because, to be frank, I did not want that many entrances at all. And I haven't actually been attacked in my maps yet. So I don't know what I'm in for. But I've been reading the Wikipedia that everybody's kind of, like, pointed me towards. And so far, it's like... Uh, there's, there's words and there's phrases and stuff like that that I'm coming across and I'm not familiar and I'm just like, half of this is not going to make sense until I actually encounter it, unfortunately. I'm going to slap some bedding and stuff down here. I don't have any particulars for where it's going. I think I was going to do it in this little section here. So it's making 25 beds and I don't want that to be like specific 25 beds to a room, but at the moment... I don't think it matters too much. Can I put down more than one bed at a time individually? Uh, keep building after placement, please. For the love of God. Uh, okay. It's going to be an individual game. Thank you. Um, considering this is my second day trying to play my third game of it, and I did work out some stuff earlier. I was very, very proud of myself for a few things that I figured out. That 
either have made sense after reading them or I've figured out by finding them. So I, I definitely appreciate that you think it's looking all right. At the moment, I'm not going for aesthetics. I'm not trying to make this place look good. I'm just trying to figure out how the game works. And I know it's going to take me probably several colonies before I ever even figure it out. Uh, did I run out of beds? Oh god, the unevenness. Can I cancel this? It's not that one. It's Is it this one? No, it's not that. <laughs> um, doesn't surprise me. Look, I'm impressed. Like, my first map made three winters before starving to death just after the third winter so if these people even surprisingly make that kind of distance because i think this is their first winter oh shit there's so many of them yeah if they make it past this like first winter it's already an accomplishment wow 80 years how do you f how do you know how many years you play for uh, apparently we got a blue peacock. Because all as I can tell is I got my first caravan today. So I know this is still in my first year. But last time I could only tell that it was each year based on when winter happened. So the calendar in the top right. Hold up, let's pause. Um, calendar. You talking about this? Oh, Grim, you're always sluggish and sleepy. Even with coffee. Okay, so that's the calendar. All right. So, so tell me more. Uh, okay, so you base it off the year the game starts you in. So, yeah, I think this is year 100. Is its first year? Because this is our first winter. So, if that's the case, you're saying that, like, it would... If in my case, if I'd been playing for 80 years, it would be 180. Year 180, right? That's what you mean? Because that would be interesting. That's, pre that's pretty cool to know. Because I only just worked out before. Was it with the military? It's off. Um, so I was only just making something with this before. So don't crucify me on it. I don't even understand it yet. So there was something to do with... Well, come at me, bro. <laughs> Whatever, Grim. Um, it's it's too hot for that shit. Um, there was something I was doing with editing. No, but I haven't seen this screen before. What is this? I have no idea. What I guess that's like maybe you can like call it things and this is like our word, their word, and what it means, the language. Yeah, no, well, I'm actually doing pretty good with the alcohol for, for fucking once. Last game, I think I had like 20, 30 drinks at any given time, if not none. So I'm getting there. I'm just having the problem that they keep telling me I don't have fermented things I think um it's not this I'm not clicking on that I don't want to create a new squad it's not this back to squads you ah here it is here it is I figured it out on that okay so what I was looking at is so when I looked at this and they said what month they were in it made me think these are their 12 months of the year this is what they call their 12 months um only because there are actually 12 and it suggests that this is the current month. Which is pretty cool, if that's the case. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I've managed to get them to an army to train. Um, thousand is the least amount you'll go to. Don't want you to drinking dirty water. Blop. Look, I've got a fair bit of food and I've got a fair bit of plants, but they're not using them. They keep cancelling orders like this, saying that uh, cancels extract from plant needs unrotten extract bearing plant plants. 
and so they keep canceling. I have go 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 away. Shoot. Um, they have this set up, and I'm pretty sure I've got it as a minimum of five that they have to keep at any given time making. And I made sure they had barrels. We've got barrels. I think we've got a constant work order on that. Yes, we do. And I don't need you to be constantly making 25. Oh my god. Um, just hit me up with like 10 more of those, hey? Eh? I'll do it. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a few things that like I haven't figured out yet. And as I said, I'm kind of like working off a bit of the wiki at the moment. See, 25 is the biggest I've dealt with so far. Um, like, I can't even imagine getting to 100 yet. I have to, like, I I know of these two workshops. I know them. I know what they do, roughly, and I kind of gather what they do. The stone one I brought in this time because I think last time somebody said I needed stone. And the ashery and what's the other one? Well, time for expansion. Um, I needed... They told me I'll need the jeweler one as well. I needed stone worker, harper, ashery, like a furnace. I don't have a furnace yet. Um, but I'm getting there because I was going to put them all around each other kind of thing. But I was going to originally have their storage things underground in their own section, but that didn't happen because it won't let me dig. But what was I working on? The beds. Uh, give me a, give me a ticket. I'm trying to remember where I am and where my shit is. So I was slapping some beds down because I found them sleeping in the storage. Trim. <laughs> I'm like trying to, I'm trying to like sing along to that kind of thing in my head. I just don't fully remember the tune off my heart. How shameful. Honestly, as far as this game has gone, this colony has been my most successful. And I've only been playing it for two days. Like, it, it's once a week. So I have basically like a week to try to like research a little bit more in between it. And I was going to do something over here. I was going to see if they had more beds made. Yeah, each week I try to like uh, learn everything from like people that are commenting and uh, try to like record some of the stuff so that I can like um, kind of have a peek around in the game in between and then I found there was a tutorial video I found yesterday I didn't get a chance to watch it I was gonna watch it while I was waiting at the hospital but I didn't have a chance so I got called in straight away so I'm like god damn it and I just didn't have a chance for the whole rest of the day but I have plans to watch that later. Because apparently it's supposed to be basic first time play tutorial, which would have been fantastic for the actual first time I played the game. Uh, I'm trying to remember which keys move around. Okay, they're making so many fucking barrels and beds and shit. By the way, this straight up storage area was not the plan. My initial plan was going to be, I was going to dig down here and this first layer was going to be all my fucking crops, but apparently there's this peat and this sand. Very disappointed. I'm going to dig out a little bit. Cut off this corner here, about there. I think it was here. You guys are more than welcome to sit there singing in the in the chat. Oh, <laughs> oh I gotta stop yawning. Holy shit! 
I am not sleeping well lately. It's not even that, like, it's not even that I'm not not sleeping well. It's, um, I don't know. I'm not getting enough sleep, and the sleep I'm getting is not good enough. So you think we need some grand entryways. So my biggest thing was I wanted initially to dig down and then put some, like, coverings and stuff on it to protect this place. Um, oh, Grim, my coffee earlier, my, my fucking coffee gave me a goddamn bellyache. Mind you, I had like, I had the two pods in it double drained. So yeah. Yeah. See, I want a goddamn farming area, but do you think I can find freaking dirt underground? No. Nope. All of the sand. I chose this area, by the way. I, I chose this mess. I, I chose the bed that I'm laying in. Um. But yeah, I haven't been able to find like dirt or soil or whatever. Uh, let's see, we have, they're making their beds and barrels and stuff. I'm glad that they're still making barrels like crazy because it looks like they've got a fair bit of liquors. Is this liquor? No. What about this one? Do I click on it? Okay. This is, uh, it just tells me it's a fucking barrel. Super, super informative. Um, what is it? Ah, meat, no. Um, they have no fish and stuff. That was another thing I was looking at too, was when, which way am I going? That way. Was like, I wanted to make some of these water sources fishing areas, but I can't tell if it's got fish in it or not. And then when I did tell them to like check this for fish, they were like, yeah, no, there's no fish in that. However, I've seen on some of the maps, it's like frogs and stuff like moving around in this. And I don't know if it actually has to have a physical fish moving in that area. What is this? Uh, some kind of leafy thingy. There's like food vines out here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh man, look, at least they're not drinking water like my first fucking mat. I made them drink water only because I didn't know how to make any kind of liquor. So, uh, yeah, so meat and stuff. So I don't know how to send people to hunt. I obviously have animals, but I don't know if I need to keep them to force them to reproduce or if there's like hunting parties because I was training a dog. I don't know where I found that, but I had a dog that was getting trained up to help with hunting. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered the pig for now. Come back, come back. How do I slaughter you? You're always annoyed you're in the rain. Stupid things. Um, give me a second. I found this last time was like citizen, maybe. It wasn't citizen, pets and livestock. Oh my god, I found it. I found it again. Okay, so yeah, I'm training a dog for guarding and hunting. Get rid of the boar. Alright, that's the first animal I'm actually slaughtering. So I don't... Yeah, I, I didn't know how to do any of this until... What's this overall training? Ah, it shows you what kind of like animals and shit's on this map. A bugbear? This is the thing that I find is so weird about this game. Some of these things, like, you got a cow next to a crundle. It's like, what the fuck is a crundle? <laughs> uh, what does kangaroo taste like? Tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good if you cook it right. Got some kangaroo steaks in the, um, in the fridge at the moment that I need to cook up later, either for lunch or tonight. And... Uh, cause I have Crohn's disease. So in my case, there's a lot of meats I can't eat, uh, that make me like really physically sick. So there's, there's only a few that I can eat and it's like turkey, duck, eggs, kangaroo, but kangaroo in very small portions cause it's a very strong red meat. So it's kind of like if you cook it by searing the outside, and then like slapping it in an oven to like let it 
like heat through properly and stuff like that. So it's it's cooked but not overcooked because kangaroo, you can overcook it so easily and it becomes unbearably tough or you can undercook it and it's gamey as fuck. Um, but if you get it kind of like somewhere in the sweet spot in the middle, uh, you still need to have like a good amount of seasonings or otherwise it, it has a smell. It's, it's a game meat, obviously, so it has a smell to it. But, yeah, it's it's a pretty okay thing. Like, I would I would say it's somewhere between a very lean beef, but with almost, like, a non-gamey, lamby sort of taste, but not quite. Um, I like using it as a substitute for when I need, like, an actual red meat. Obviously, like, duck actually is classified as a red meat because, yeah, it's, if you've seen the meat on it, it is. But um, the kangaroo and stuff, I will occasionally eat just to try to keep my iron up and stuff because obviously I can't eat a lot of the other stuff. And so, like, yeah, I'll, I'll cook it up and I'll let it rest and I'll let it cool down and then I'll cut it up as, like, uh, almost like an imitation cold beef sort of thing to go into like other meals and stuff like that it can be really really good like that especially like next day cold sliced on a sandwich like what I'm using it for this time is I'll be making club sandwiches so you know just you know toast your bread get some lettuce tomato um bit of barbecue sauce and like mostly thinly cut the um what you call it thinly cut the roux and sort of lay it out that way and it can be like a really really tasty sandwich like I have got a picture of the club sandwiches that I make in my Instagram um but I know all my links aren't working at the moment because I just changed my account names to acrylic this morning so none of my links are set up for that uh what's your useless tip of the day Grim you're running low on iron start working on the mines shut up um I'm supposed to I'm allegedly supposed to basically like I think it's spinach has a fuck ton spinach and broccoli and stuff like that has a fuck ton of iron I'm supposed to have like a shit ton of that but there's only so much of that that you can eat at a time so every so often I do have to have something like roux what's Victoria you talking about talking about uh what is it? I think it's the province, Victoria. Do you think I'm in Victoria? Um the provinces. No, I'm um uh what do you call it? We've got states. So we we've got different states here. So we've got uh Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria uh south australia northern territory and perth <laughs> no i'm in brisbane i'm queensland so yeah i'm i'm in the all the beaches all the hinterlands all the like good weather but fucking uh, what do you call them like cyclones we get cyclones up here and it's generally pretty sunny most of the time, which also means it's fucking hot. Oh, shit. I just, like, capped my mic. I really need to get that mic stand so I can, like, not be thrashing my mic around. Um, yeah. What's wrong with Brisbane and Queensland? At least it's not Perth. i got to say that much. At least it isn't Perth. I'm curious, like, I haven't worked out, like, the color system yet for a lot of these woods. So I put them down, and it says it's a thing, and then I put it down. Yeah, well, that's, look, that's the, that's the main thing. It's not Perth. Um, like, there's nothing wrong with Perth. Perth is apparently, like, nice enough and stuff like that, but it's too restricted on what can and can't come in and out of Perth. Um, and it's, it's fucking massive, so... Like, the, the last thing you need is to be like, oh, I've got a relative or a job or something that's, like, 
at the top of Perth or top of Western Australia and you're like at the bottom of Western Australia. It's like, well, yeah, might as well just fucking fly. Yeah, no, I've heard of that. It's like, I don't know, each different... Each different part of Australia is very, very different. Like, I know a few people from South Australia and the way they sort of talk about it is, I don't know, very, very different to anywhere else. And then you get, um, what do you got? Uh, is it Victoria has Melbourne? Yeah, Victoria has Melbourne. Melbourne's really fucking nice. But it's colder because obviously it's lower on the map and stuff. And it's just like, I like going there, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't deal with it being cool, even though it's only like probably a few different degrees and stuff. I, I can't deal with the cool. Uh, what are these plants? Yeah, it started raining, no shit. Um, what was that? It's like East Germany uh, for us Germans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, th that's the funny thing is... Um, I like watching some videos of people that like are in Germany and stuff like that. I, I particularly love the whole, the meme mentality of, um, what do you call it? When you guys go for a fucking walk, in brackets walk, and it's obviously a fucking hike. It's like, I, Australians just kind of don't do that. It's going for any kind of hike in Australia is always dangerous. You always have to have so much preparation and um, contact and uh, what do you call it, like satellite type gear and stuff like that so that in emergency you can like get in contact with somebody. Like it's fucking dangerous just to go for a hike. When you said like fucking East Germans, it just reminds me of the Simpsons where like Willie's like sitting there going um, fucking Scots and, and what is it, Englishmen and, and Scots and other Scots. Damn, the Scots ruined Scotland and stuff like that. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh man I don't, I don't blame you I heard somebody the other day was asking like do do mullets make like Queensland females like wet or something like that and I'm like I'm sitting there with like the most quizzical look on my face overhearing this conversation and I'm like what and apparently Queensland in Australia per capita has the most men with mullet hairstyles and like yeah that actually makes sense like as far as I can tell like there are so many guys that have mullets here and it's not even funny because yeah it's just like why specifically why do we have the most mullets something happened all right what's going on I, I let them like run through early spring and stuff don't do it, Grim. Just fucking shaved all of your hair. Don't fucking do it. I'll find where you live. I'll 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 make a point of it. You're like my reason for <laughs> my reason for coming and visiting you would be to fucking shave the mullet off. Um. Okay, so a dwarven child withdraws from society. So the last time somebody withdrew from the society, we ended up with that religious 